All right, what we're gonna do today is uh, take the old license plate bracket, which I already removed. It sat up high of the, uh, of the rear brake light. I took it off so I could put on this uh, little luggage rack when I'm not running my tour pack on. Um, but with the license plate sticking proud of that, it just doesn't fit. So um, I ordered a license plate relocation kit from uh, Custom Dynamics. And what we're gonna do is mount this It'll sit underneath here, about where that emblem's at. And uh, it should look a lot nicer going down the road. So um, let's get started. All right, now we're over here at the workbench. Um, this is the license relocation bracket that I ordered from Custom Dynamics. You can see the uh, part number on there is 2030-1594. Uh, um, this was about $49. I think everything set out with shipping was like $65 altogether. Um, with that, obviously, every time you order from Custom Dynamics, you get a little bit of stickers to come along with it, and then uh, very useful with the product catalog. So this is nice to have. This is my second one from them. Um, ordered lights, front lights from Custom Dynamics as well. But uh, this would be kind of cool to put in. So let's uh, take a look, see what we got. So this is what it looks like out of the package. Um, substantially lighter <laughs> and uh, not as thick as this uh, old beast here. Um, on the back of this, I have a 2012 Ultra Limited. Uh, this fits uh, from a 91 to 2013 Ultra. Electric Glide Classic, Electric Glide Standard, Electric Glide Ultra Classic, Ultra Limited, 91 to 13 Row Kings, 86 to 17 Heritages, 93 to 96 Deluxes um, with flat style OEM turn signals. So um, on the back of this, you'll see a little bit of protection here. It goes up against your paint on both of these, uh, these flares. Then here is a big pad. It sits up flat against your your fender. They do supply you with some uh, alcohol wipes. You peel this off. Once you're done wiping it off, stick it on there. No vibration, nice and smooth. So we'll get this on, get it going. So something to keep in mind while you're doing is you have two bolts, one on each side of the light here. Uh, the best way to get to them is from underneath. And uh, you kind of see one there. We took the other one out where you can see the hole through the blue. Right in that area. So um, they're half inch bolts. A little tight to get to, but not bad at all. They come out uh, looking like that, poking through the other side that stud comes through. So half inch, get on there. It's a good opportunity to clean up underneath there too, which uh, for an 11 year old bike, it's not looking terrible. All right, now we got those studs out. Uh, like I said, a half inch penetrating through this way. Um, I take the opportunity now to uh, to clean this out really good. Probably never been touched since the bike was uh, was new. So um, we'll clean that out. And uh, I have a decal down here I'm going to be removing as well. The bar and shield, um, get the heat gun out, take that off and we'll install this bad boy. In wipey wipey. Now that this is loose, it's got them in there hanging on. Um, a lot easier to do the anything you gotta do down here before you remove this. I'm an idiot, so leave me alone. Um, they supply you with this 99.9% isotopic alcoholic wipe. So we're gonna open her up, wipe her down, make sure it's all good and clean. Nice. All right, well, she's done. Um, really easy install. It's like very, very basic. Um, on what to do. The only advice I'd give somebody who's doing this for the first time is, uh, remember that foam pad that was back here? 
with the uh, sticky side. Um, don't peel that, that protective layer off before you get this in. It does stick really well. So you can, this is flexible. You can move that back a little bit, peel that off and then adhere it to your bike. Um, that'd be the only thing I would, uh, I would do differently next time. But, uh, this is it for now. Um, I do realize that, uh, you know, I have the, uh, light up top for the bracket. I am ordering a new, uh, tail light and, uh, getting the bullet style turn signals here shortly. So, um, until those arrive, this is what I got. So I appreciate it and we'll uh, see you next time. Ooh. Skadoosh. Oh yeah. Nice.